Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how much a YouTuber doing Magic the Gathering or a celebrity doing sponsorships can ideally make. This is the best case scenario. I think these numbers are very aggressive and I don't know if anyone in the community can hit them today, but I would imagine in the future these numbers are re realistic given what League of Legends and Overwatch, obviously these are much larger communities, but Magic is expanding as a community. So the best case scenario is they can receive $36,000 in YouTube ads. I don't feel like this number is particularly crazy given what current some current YouTubers make. And maybe they do a one-time huge sponsorship for $17,500, let's say with PicoTrade or a similar organization and then get other sponsors. So there's so many sponsors out there, Ultra Pro, uh, Stores, Card Kingdom, TCG Player, Wizards of the Coast themselves have sponsored some channels, Magic Trading Online or whatever that spot is that I don't use it, it sells you online Magic cards. There's a lot of sponsorships out there for the celebrity or the MTG celebrity and then Patreon Again, I don't feel like this number is too insane given that people donate $10,000 a month and sometimes people can donate $5,000 as an individual. So here's all the stuff I didn't really calculate into it because I don't know if people are doing it. Twitch, you can make money on Twitch, obviously. You can make money on Twitter, uh, just retweeting something. Again, best case scenario, so what I'm going to say is you can probably make more money as a Magic content creator than you can as a pro Magic player. And this is kind of the same as League of Legends where there are certain content creators that were pros but left because they can make more money streaming and making YouTube videos. So there are a lot of other things I haven't calculated in so it is possible under the ideal circumstance that a Magic YouTuber can make even more than this. And I'm saying this because it's interesting. If you love Magic the Gathering and you love YouTubing and becoming a Magic celebrity, traveling and playing Magic, this might, it might be a job for you in the future. So yeah, let's talk, let's break it down for the 18th time, I'm going to say these are ideal numbers. So a larger channel can get $11,000 a month on Patreon, which is equal to $132,000 a year. I don't see this number as being too crazy in the future. Maybe it seems a little high today, but a year or two from now, I'm sure one or more channels will be receiving this much money on Patreon. And yes, you might say Patreon money is not consistent. It's not uh, as reliable as a salary, which you receive every two weeks. It's paid monthly. There might be a lot of cancellation, which do happen. But I don't think this number is totally crazy. And you will also get free trips. So you get to go to Las Vegas, Hawaii, different, Wizard of the Coast will fly you out. So I'm very proud of what certain YouTubers have been able to accomplish. Uh, it is incredible because if you talk about two and a half years ago, people were doing the monthly magic box. I felt they were paid, but then I was told by, uh, I believe it was Tolarian, but by, by someone who was very big that they were not, they never received any money for it. So they were doing monthly magic box sponsorships for no money. They just got a free box till today where if I had to guess you, if you were sponsored by ultra pro TCG player, ultra pro card kingdom, ultra pro someone else, TCG player, someone else, a combination of these larger groups, they, they must at least be paying like a thousand dollars a piece. I assume cause it's on every video. And that costs a lot of money. So if someone makes a video, let's say on a month, they make 10, 20 videos, let's say 15 videos a month. Well, even at $100 a video, that's still 1500 for one sponsor. So I don't see that as 
too crazy, $2,500 a month. Uh, it's being a core sponsor and having, I mean, the key here is the kickback. So if you click on the link that has a YouTube channel and you buy something, they know how much you bought and they will give you a kickback, a percentage of it. I'm pretty sure that's how Card Kingdom works. Ultra Pro is probably more branding and I'm pretty sure that's how TCG Player works as well is the person gets a percentage of what is made on that purchase. So very good model. Uh, everyone's happy with that model. The YouTuber is happy because they make money. TCG Player is happy because they make money and the subscriber is happy because they bought a card that they may not have known about unless they saw the video. Now a larger sponsorship it would be Puka Trade, and legend has it a YouTuber signed up 5,000 people and the reason that we know it's 5,000 people is because they made a landing page saying that hey congrats, five, congrats so and so, uh, subscribers from so and so, welcome to Puka Trade. Now if they sign up 5,000 people you get 350 points for signing up a person right now Maybe it was 300 points, maybe it was 250, but I'm sure that even if it was 300, there would be some, there would be a additional bonus because 300 is what an ordinary person gets to sign up someone else. It got, it's got to be more than that for a MTG YouTube quote celebrity. So in one go, one video, they made $17,500 worth of Pico points. Now, the Pico points are not, it's not a 100 to 1 translation, even back then, but it was closer, definitely closer than it is today. So here's the part that I kind of know. If a video gets a minimum of 50,000 views a day, or views a video, and you have one video a day, and you can generate two to three million view, views a month, which is po possible, you will get $3,000 a month from YouTube ads, which is $36,000 a year. Then you combine all of these together, you get a sizable income. Maybe there's a team and you have to pay out salary, but that's great. This is fantastic for our community because it's going to encourage people to go into YouTube for the money. So. Bad boy MTG, I don't dislike him. I think he's fine. Like if you view his channel as entertainment, that's fine. But there's a reason he can open and take so many losses, right? So he opens a lot of interesting packs. I mean, I watched his videos. I think those packs are interesting. And he opens a lot of valuable packs, I would say. The same can be said for many smaller channels. And it's interesting. Uh, it is quite interesting what the YouTube has become. It's become a haven where you can make money as opposed to everyone doing the monthly magic box for free. Like back in when people were doing the monthly magic box and saying it was the best, best ever. I assume they were getting paid because everyone else paid based on your link. Like Loot Crate, Loot Crate Anime, one up box, they pay every time someone buys using your link. All those uh, snack places, month pack. Imagine my surprise when I'm in the Facebook group of all the YouTubers who are promoting monthly magic box and I'm saying, hey, you guys shouldn't do this. I know you're getting paid, but you should stop. So I made a video, no one like responded to me then, but I made a video and then people were really upset in that YouTube page because not because they received a free box, which was true, they received a free box and they were saying that a article, a binder worth $2 was actually worth $20, which is not true because I sent them the link so showing them you can buy at $2 as many as you wanted. Then someone, I mean, then they told me they weren't being paid. I was like, wait, what? None of you being paid for the monthly magic box? And why, you, like, why is, are these numbers so insane? till today where people are being sponsored by Ultra Pro, people are being sponsored by Card Kingdom and they're reviewing products from their sponsorship, right? That's the whole point. Uh, the sponsor wants you to sell stuff. That's the entire point of the sponsorship. The sponsorship's not gonna give you $1,500 unless you can sell at least $2,000 worth of stuff. It would make no sense for them to lose money that way. 
And I say this because it's all very fascinating and interesting to me. I haven't, I haven't really cared too much about it, but I haven't cared because just like when I thought the month, people in the monthly magic box didn't know that you can make money back then, I didn't know there was so much, much money into it until I started calculating based on ideal circumstances, how much money can actually be generated if you had the largest channel. I'm not talking about any of the channels that exist today. I'm talking about a potentially larger future channel that does pack openings, card product reviews, and deck techs every day with as high rate video production, if not higher. I know that channel has not, does not exist right now, but it will in the future because the money's out there. The money really is out there for that channel to, to exist. And I, I'm sure that will actually be, so here's the interesting part. Most YouTubers, they don't have any videography experience. They don't have, so when I watch like John Olsen or Casey or something, they're legit. They've been blogging and they do the stuff and it's legit. Uh, they're traveling, they're on airplanes. That would be interesting, right? Not, in my opinion, someone making a video on a green screen talk, telling you about deck that already exists and then here are these links to buy the deck. I don't know. I think my ideal channel would be something like the huge channels that now exist for for blogs and uh, they exist everywhere else where, uh, for instance, uh, who's I'm a Kiwi Pie or he's a very famous League of Legend player and I watched his Twitches and I watched his streams and he gets so many donations. He's making bank. He is making bank. I could see a Magic the Gathering channel like Kibler, Brian Kibler, but not for Hearthstone, but for Magic the Gathering once MTG Arena comes out, then the whole game changes. I guarantee you there will be a flood of new channels back when that happens, and we will see. We will see. Anyway, bye guys.